Dominican Friars in Rwanda. Monday meditation of the 24th week of ordinal time year A. God has so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. In Monday's gospel, Jesus answers the Pharisees Nicodemus, who despite his training and experience, wants to know how to be born again to inherit eternal life. In his careful response, Jesus gives the key to understanding the process of being born again. It is about being born again of God. It gives us the nature of God's children, and this identity challenges us to act as God himself. Well, how does God act in our lives? Brothers and sisters, from this gospel, to be born again or from above is fundamentally to be and to act like God. That is to say, to give the best of ourselves to those we love. The Gospel tells us clearly that God has given his best gift to the humanity he loves. God had so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Therefore, believing in Jesus to have eternal life goes beyond words, beyond the practices and rites that accompany the sacrament of baptism and becomes concrete in our likeness of God, which consists essentially of being and acting like God. That is to say, to give ourselves every day to raise up the weak. This is what it means to be born from above, to live out of love that gives itself for others. These requirements of God to have eternal life is difficult to live because we are easily and instinctively inclined to receive rather than to give, to sacrifice others rather than ourselves. But Jesus reveals to us today that the secret to eternal life is to give the best of oneself for others. Deep down, true life lies in the transcendence of this instinct which seeks to live at the expense of the lives of others. Brothers and sisters, the gospel challenges us on the degree and the quality of our Christian life. We truly give ourselves. Do we give the best of ourselves for those we love? What is the level of our commitment to others? Are we also caught by the disease of the century of living only for ourselves? Let us ask God the grace for conversion and faith so that our works can bear witness to the true love that God offers in the person of Jesus now and forever. Amen.